Believe it or not, we've already reached, reached week four of the regular season on KDLT's Football Friday. Halfway through it, and the fifth stop on our tailgate tour is Salem for a battle of 11 B unbeatens as McCook Central Montrose hosts Bridgewater Emory Eath. And now, despite getting off to a 4 0 start under new head coach Sean Flanagan, the Cougars are not ranked in the media poll. That could certainly change tonight if they get a win over the top-ranked Bridgewater Emory Ethan Seahawks. Now, Jeff Van Lure's team, no stranger to any one of these parts. He's the winningest nine-man coach in the country, and his program adapted well to 11-man over the last four seasons, finishing as state runner-up in each of the last two. Van Lure thinks a hard-fought 21-16 win last week over fourth-ranked Mount Vernon Plagington has his team ready to go tonight. We're in the tough part of our schedule, no doubt about it. And having that first game there and kind of getting a taste of what it takes to uh, win one of those big ball games has definitely helped our, our confidence on, on this team. But, you know, like, like I said, they're, they're a well-coached team, and, and they're really clicking right now, you know, no matter who they're playing. So we need to cut down their plays and, and uh, we have ourselves ready to play football. It'll be a tough game. You know, they're really well-coached. They have some good players. They have some playmakers on both sides of the ball. But it's going to be a good game, physical game. You know, with the wind and everything like this, I'm sure we'll run the ball a little bit more. And to pick a winner, we turn to the KDLT Sports Puppy, who improved to 4-0 on the season last week by correctly picking Viberg Hurley over Baltic. As we found out, though, this one was her toughest choice of the season. Seahawks are the pup's pick, and we hope you pick Football Friday for your prep pigskin needs tonight. It's a busy show with 13 games on deck, including some unique matchups between Brookings and Madison and Mitchell and Dell Rapids. We're not short on nine-man action either, with St. Mary's, Canastota Freeman, and Bonham looking to keep their spots near the top of the rankings. All that, plus all the scores and fun on KDLT's Football Friday, brought to you by Frisbees. The Sanford International officially got underway this morning at the Minnehaha Country Club. Big crowd for the opening ceremony, which for the second straight year included Jack Nicholas, the Golden Bear, playing his round tomorrow. Getting the first tee shot was Oneida native Tom Byram, and he thrilled the hometown fans on number two. Tough downhill putt with a big break that he drops for birdie. Byram playing the front nine at an even par pace. Moving back to one, Steve Fleisch with a birdie. He was also even par through the first nine. Also on number one, David Toms rolls home another nice looking birdie putt. There weren't a whole lot of those dropping early though as predicted. The course was playing tougher this year as evidenced by the top player on the tour, Bernhard Longer. His putt for birdie is just a little bit off. Now one of the fan favorite groups to follow was Mark Kalkovecchia, John Daly and Colin Montgomery. Three major championships between them. Kalkovecchia with a great approach shot on number 12 that lands just a few feet from the cup on a hop, he would make birdie. Daly, who had to withdraw last year, he gets off to a much better start, also birdieing 12, and he was two under through the first nine. Monty playing even better. His birdie on 12, part of a three under front nine that gave him the early lead. All right, and Kirk Triplett has the lead after round one. We'll have more highlights coming up tonight at 10. Wouldn't be the KDLT tailgate tour if we didn't show you an actual tailgate. Big fundraiser going on here in Salem for McCook Central Montrose, and they are grilling some good burgers and brats here. We're going to have good highlights coming up for you tonight on Football Friday, brought to you by Frisbees. We'll be back in one moment with one more check of your Football Friday weather.